Hello, I'm comedian Susan Stewart, and here in my hand are the top 10 perks of the pandemic. That's right, I'm trying to focus on the positive here today. All right, number 10. Now, when I don't feel like sex, I can just pretend that I'm afraid of my partner being asymptomatic. Right? It's like, oh, please, uh, six feet away, please. Trying to do my part here, trying to flatten the curve. Why did I say please twice? Okay, take three, take three, take three. This is take three. Hi, I'm Susan Stewart. And in my hand, I have the top 10 perks of the pandemic. Yes, today I'm focusing on the positive. All right, the top 10 perks of the pandemic. Number 10, now when I don't feel like sex, I can just pretend that I'm afraid of my partner being asymptomatic, right? Uh, six feet away, please. Trying to do my part over here, trying to flatten the curve. <laughs> uh, number nine, uh, we don't have to see the people we don't like. Well, except the ones we married and gave birth to, of course. Well, I mean, I don't know about you, but I haven't heard from the being a parent is the greatest joy in life crowd in a while, hey? They've been, uh, they've been pretty quiet for about a, a year now. Well, who can blame them, right? It's just not natural or healthy to be around your children this much. Like the other day, a friend of mine, oh, she was at the end of her rope. She's like, that's it. I'm done. I quit. I'm selling my kid on eBay. I really fucked that line up. All right. Cut. All right. Take four. Take four. Hello. I'm comedian Susan Stewart. And with me here today, in my right hand, are the top 10 perks of the pandemic. That's right. Today I'm focusing on the positive. The top 10 perks of the pandemic. Number 10. Now, when I don't feel like sex, I just pretend I'm afraid of my partner being asymptomatic. Um, six feet away, six feet away. Take five, take five. All right. Hello, I'm comedian Susan Stewart. And in my right hand, I have the top 10 perks of the pandemic. That's right. We're focusing on the positive here today. The top 10 perks of the pandemic. Number 10. Now, when I don't feel like sex, I just pretend I'm afraid of my partner being asymptomatic. Okay, uh, six feet away, please. Trying to do my part over here, trying to flatten the curve. <laughs> uh, number nine, we don't have to see the people we don't like. Well, except the ones we married and gave birth to, of course. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about you, but I haven't heard from the being a parent is the greatest joy in life crowd in about a year now, okay? Yep, been pretty quiet. I mean, who can blame them, right? It's just not natural or healthy to be around your children this much. Like the other day, a friend of mine, she was at the end of her rope. She's like, that's it. I'm done. I quit. I'm selling my kid on eBay. I said, don't be silly. You made him. Sell him on Etsy. Right? Like before the pandemic, parents would say, it takes a village. And now parents are saying, it takes a vineyard. A lot of wine. A lot of wine going down. All right. Top 10, top 10 perks of the pandemic. Number eight, breakups are a lot easier to explain, right? Uh, so was weight gain, uh, a bad haircut, and alcoholism. Well, pretty much everything is easy to explain right now. Like, uh, didn't get the promotion at work? Well, of course not. We're in a pandemic. Um, number seven, you can hide your pregnancy. I mean, yeah, you're at home a lot, so people are not seeing you. But also, like, we all look about three to four months along. Uh, yeah, so even when you do go out in public, you just blend in, right? Like, we're all wearing maternity wear now. So, yeah, it's fine. You look like the rest of us. Don't worry. Don't worry. You blend in. Uh, top 10 perks of the pandemic. Number six, no FOMO. No fear of missing out, right? Like this pandemic is like uh, the grand equalizer. Uh, everyone hates their life right now, right? There's no, there's no lying there on the sofa on a Saturday night, you know, scrolling through Instagram, seeing all your friends out at fancy restaurants and bars and hating yourself, right? No, there's no uh, 
having to go out and shovel after seeing Judy on Facebook basking in the sun in Mexico. No, no. I mean, for once, nobody's happy. Nobody's living their best lives. And that's amazing. All right. Top 10 perks of the pandemic. Number five, no more socially awkward moments, right? Like when you bump into someone, say at the grocery store, right? You bump into them um, and they're not, they're not really a friend. They're more of an acquaintance. And you don't know if you're on hugging terms, right? You just you have that awkward moment of you don't know whether to go in for the hug or not, right? There's none of that because there is, there is no hugging or there is no um, meeting someone for the very first time, right? And they go in for the hug immediately, right after meeting you. You know those people. I'm a hugger. No, no, you can't be a hugger right now. And that's amazing too. Uh, top 10 perks of the uh, pandemic, number four. Uh, thanks to uh, all these video calls, um, we get to see inside our coworkers' homes. Yeah, we get to see how they decorate and we get to see their children and their pets. You know, what was once someone's private life is now on display for everyone to see. And it's, yeah, it's kind of fun. I mean, it's weird too, right? Like you haven't said five words to Bob in all the years you've worked with him. But now you're checking out his Star Wars collectibles on the shelf behind him. Uh, Debbie has told you nothing about her husband. So you spend the entire meeting staring at the wedding photo behind her on the wall. And who knew Gary was a hoarder? Yeah, right? Oh, which brings me to uh, the next perk, uh, number three. Okay. Being on a video call and texting someone who's also on the call and then looking at their square as they read the message. It really is about the little things right now, isn't it? All right, top 10 perks of the pandemic. Number two, the dogs are happy, right? The dogs are so happy. The dogs think that we all quit our jobs in order to spend more time with them. And of course, our cats think that we all got fired for being the losers they always knew we were. Actually, you know what? As I see it, we've all turned into dogs, right? We roam the house all day looking for food. We're told no if we get too close to strangers and we get really excited about car rides. <sighs> and the number one, the number one perk of the pandemic, being near the bottom of the list to receive the vaccine is making me feel so young. There it is. There it is. Trying to focus on the positive. <laughs>